In this video, we're going to go over how you can make optical illusions with AI using Stable Diffusion and Midjourney like this. Before we get started, if you would like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, that would be amazing. And now let's dive into it. To start, we need to get the QR code monster control net. So I'll leave this link in the description below. We're going to go to files and versions. We're going to go ahead and download the safe tensor version. And once you have that, let me go ahead and grab where you're supposed to go next. We're going to go into stable diffusion. Once it's downloaded, going to go to models, going to go to control net and paste it in here. If you're using like run diffusion or think diffusion, if you have a higher tier, I know you can use those online and you can upload those on there if they're not already there. So now that that's done next, we need to get our image for what we're going to use. So let me ma maximize this here. And we have a couple different options. We're going to start with the Mona Lisa just because it's easy recognizable. There's a couple of different ways of doing this that I've been successful with it. The first way go is go into filter and you're going to go to filter gallery and make sure that you have black and white selected down here. Then, you, then you're going to go to sketch and click on halftone pattern. This I've been successful with and using this with the QR code control nets. And then the other option or one other option you, is you can click on plus here, go away. Thank you. And we're going to go to adjustments. We're going to click on the black and white portraits and this will turn out black and white. Now with this, if this, when, how this works is black and white or what's going to be dominant in this. So if you run this through and it's not working right, maybe you need to adjust your contrast. So we can do this by going to properties as long as the curves layer is selected. And we can go ahead and grab and we can increase this to have more white and more black to be more prominent. We can save that. You can also do this with any kind of logo. One option you can do is by using the paint bucket and just pasting that in. So if it was you know, a color or something like that, or you can just go ahead and go to adjustments here and click on invert and it will flip it if you want the other color. I recommend playing with both because you'll get different looks depending on what you're playing with. So once that's done, we're gonna go into stable diffusion here. I'm gonna go to, to control net. Let's go ahead and grab the Mona Lisa here. We're gonna drop that in there. Enable, pixel perfect, and make sure we have QR code monster selected. Now, it's important to note here that I wanna make sure that my dimensions are correct. So I go to image to image and I check the height here. 760 by 512. So I'm gonna do the same right here. Now, the reason I do that is pixel perfect doesn't seem to work super well for me for whatever reason. I'm gonna put in a negative style and we're just gonna start really simple jungle, high quality, and sure focus. And we will just leave, and we're gonna do a, a seed of two so we can compare. We'll start with the control weight of one. And go ahead and generate that. And that actually came out pretty decent for what we I was kind of looking for. For this specifically, I like I'm pretty happy with that. But let's see what happens if we go to control weight of two. And you can see here this just made something else. Not it's like some some combination that's kind of weird. Uh not what we're looking for. And, but if we, now let's bring it down a bit. Let's try points, you know, 0 0.75, 0 0.7. There we go. And we can really kind of barely make it out here. I found that at around 1.3 or 1.35 for this image, I got the best look for what I was going for. And this is what I got on previous attempts. And I think this looks really, really nice. So if we want to try it with something else, let's say, for example, uh, with this Pikachu here, and we'll make sure that we have this. 
the right at the right uh, settings here. Five thirty six. Okay, and we'll do waves. And we'll keep it at two to start, and let's see what we get. So we can see Pikachu kind of in here. The ears are part of the rocks, it looks like. That looks pretty cool. I feel like it could come out a little better, even though we're at a control net weight of two. If we trade out one here. That's definitely more abstract and more... Even if I squint, that one's hard to see. So that might not be something that we necessarily want to use. But let's try... Let's try 1.7. And every image isn't going to be amazing or come out super great. That's just kind of how it, how it rolls. This one came out fairly decent, though. Very similar to the version 2. So that's some examples with this now... If you wanted to, let's go ahead and grab that uh, Instagram logo I did a while ago, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. And we're going to do car tail light. I don't know if that's one or two words, but it might be one, but it'll get the idea across. And you can see how this really like blends it into the environment. And I think that's what makes this technique really, really cool is when you're using something that is black and or white, you can do a lot in blending it in the environment and making it look like it's a part of it. And I think that's really one of the coolest parts about using this technique. All right, so we are in mid-journey on Discord. And what we're going to do first is you want to go to your settings here. And I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And you want to make sure that remix mode is turned on. If you don't have remix mode turned on, this isn't going to work. So from here... What we're going to do is we're just kind of going to go through the same process that I did before. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and slash imagine here. And we have the Mona Lisa, right? This is just an example at AR916. And then we have a stop here. So it's going to basically say, hey, I want you to stop generating at this many steps. So at stop 15, version 5.1. So we're going to go ahead and click enter. And you can see here that we got looks like some really blurry versions of something that resembles the Mona Lisa here. So then let's go ahead and grab two. I think two is pretty decent. Let's go ahead and upscale that. Okay, so then once you have this upscaled, you're going to click on Make Variations. And with that remix mode that you've turned on, we're just going to put in Jungle here. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this stop. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to go ahead and submit. All right, let's look at what we got. Okay, so these these definitely came out to be... You see how we kind of got the shape of the Mona Lisa in here? We got a lot of stuff going on, but that kind of gives you an idea. If we go back to this, let us let me look at what I did before. So I'm going to make sure that I grab this portion instead. So let's go ahead and remix it again. And I'm going to go ahead and click Make Variations. And let's just go ahead and try that again and see if we can get some better looking stuff because I don't really like this cartoony look. But let's see what we can get. All right. There we go. That looks a lot better. So I think a lot of these work for what we're looking for. And obviously, if you change the number of stops, it's going to give you a different kind of blurriness. You either, either more blurry or less blurry. And then you can use the same process using the remix fi feature in order to do that. So let's just for argument's sake, let's do another one here. Let's put in, see, I'm going to grab the stops here. Let's go ahead and grab this. But instead of the Mona Lisa, let's do something else. Um, let's do curl with pearl earring. Okay, this came out pretty good, so... I have this this one right here. Let's upscale this and let's go ahead and make a variation. And so we're going to get rid of these stops again. We don't need that. And let's do, um, we'll do we we'll sand jeans, I guess. And these are just some examples, right? High quality show focus. Let's go ahead and submit that. 
and that didn't turn out super well. This came out really cool down here. If we let me uh, bring that up a little bit, this this is, it almost like made her into a landscape, which is really really cool. And that's another example of kind of like such a cool looking effect that you can do. And just keep in mind that everything's going to work. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of playing with prompts and seeing what's going to work best for you. So I encourage you to play with it. Don't get this. Don't get discouraged and just have a good time. So you don't have to use people, obviously. If you want to use something like this dog here, then what we can do here is be like, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and upscale number. We'll go for number three. Let's try that. Okay, that's awesome. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go make variations again. We'll get rid of this stop and we'll do explosion. Quality, share focus. And we'll go ahead and submit that. And this concept I got from our friend uh, Mid Dream Man, so I'll make sure to put his uh, info in the bio as well to check out all of his work. And I started seeing some other people do similar work to this. So I was like, well, since we're go, since it's starting to become more popular, let's make a video on it. And we got some explosions and these look pretty good overall i would say this is a little terrifying uh but these are some really cool explosions that we got using this effect and it's really just going to come down to uh you finding what kind of like this sort of looks like and then playing with that concept and then once you kind of have that figured out then you kind of just go from there and that's going to be it for this video if you enjoyed it like subscribe comment all that jazz and i'll see you in the next one bye